okay guys in this tutorial we will talk about how to upload a operating system of your own choice on google cloud platform i came across this situation when i was doing pen test of an environment which was inside totally inside on a google cloud platform as we know there are no images available of uh, operating systems such as like kali linux or black box to create these images or these operating system on a google cloud platform firstly you need to identify the requirements so here there are only two requirements first you need to have a virtual box with the latest version and iso file of an operating system for this firstly we have to create an operating system on your local environment using virtual box that operating system or that virtual image will later uploaded on a google cloud so there are few requirements we are going to demonstrate each of them let's create an operating system with the name kali 1 select type and version as here i type linux and ubuntu 64 and choose ram i choose 2 gb that is appropriate for a operating system okay now let's create a virtual hard disk here we have to select a different kind of hard disk from a export mode just go to export mode and select copy on write method now we need to define the size the size the requirement is minimum 10 gb select 10 gb and hit on the create button okay before the installation of operating system we have to make few more changes settings like we have to disable the boot from a floppy we have to select an iso file for the installation and we also have to disable the audio functionality for your operating system and we have to select a para virtualized network for your networking settings only after these setting we will install our operating system and it's not recommended to have a root password for a security reason okay let's go ahead and implement this go to the settings select on the system menu and disable the boot from a floppy after this we have to disable the audio drivers now let's go ahead and do the network setting we have to select the para virtualized network from a advanced option okay now let's go ahead and do the installation process so you can choose any of the installation method here i have choose the graphical installation method which is easy to demonstrate here we have to do some basic settings settings like you have to select the language your location and the keyboard layout be patient it will take some time to install all these requirements once it's done we have to do some extra setting settings like host name here i have set the host name as a kali there no need to set the domain names generally it's not recommended to have a root password but for kali linux we need root password so i have set it next is the partition factor so here we have to go for a manual process because in google cloud they don't need a swap partition so we have to do settings like we have to eliminate the swap partition and we have to select everything on a primary partition okay you have to be very sure to follow the above mechanism otherwise it will throw an error while you will upload a operating system on a google cloud on the partition window select the manual option and hit on the continue button Here you have to select a ATA VBox hard disk. The next window it will ask to create empty partition. Select yes. Then it will ask to select a free space. Select a free space and create a new partition. Select the continue button. And it will ask you to create a new partition size that will remove a swap space and select its its a, as a primary partition once done select the done setting of the partition and hit on the continue button then you just go ahead and finish the partition and write changes to the disk then select no if it if you want to do any changes 
then select yes otherwise no and do write the changes on a disk now it will start the installation process it will take some time to install the operating system once done you have to select the bootloader option now it will ask you to install the bootloader select yes and hit on, on the continue button now you have to select the device so you have to select the same virtual box device that you have created and it will finish the installation process okay the installation is complete the system will reboot automatically now the next requirement is a open ssh server so you have to install open ssh server server using command apt get install open ssh server after the installation process we have to do some changes on ssd configurations so here we have to enable the password based login on a ssh server open the etc slash ssh slash sssd hyphen config here we have to set the parameter value permit root login so here we have to set this parameter value to yes now make sure you enable the ssh server on startup using the following command now let's go ahead and convert this machine to a uploadable format which accepted by google cloud using the following commands now we have to create a raw format to upload into google cloud using the following command it will take some time once this done now we have to compress the raw file now let's compress the disk dot raw file using the command gtar hyphen small c capital s small z capital small f and we have to select the file name here i have selected the kali dot tar dot zz now we will upload the star file to a google cloud so to upload this file we will select the gsutil command so the command will be will be gsutil space cp for the copy the file name that we have created kali.tar.cz and we have to select the destination so destination is gs and we have to select the folder name which basically a project name also the folder name sacops hyphen test is my uh, folder name you can have your own folder name which is reside inside your google cloud storage now we will create virtual machine from the uploaded image to create virtual machines on google cloud we will use the above commands these commands will come under the google cloud sdk there is a separate tutorial which demonstrate how to install and activate your google cloud sdk there is also one more tutorial how to create and manage instances or virtual images on google cloud using command line the description and link for both of the tutorial is given below now we will create a image from a uploaded file to create an image we will use a command gcloud space compute image and the create an image name image name is kali and we also have to define the source uri the source uri is the path where you have uploaded your tar file so this is the exact path where i have uploaded my tar file once this image will be created the output will show okay your machine is in a ready state okay now let's go ahead and launch the machine using the following command the command is gcloud compute instance create the image name image name i have given the kali 
and I have given the source image name. I also select the machine type which is the N1 standard and I also select the zone where it is located. So the output of the command it's saying okay the machine is running and these are the external and internal IPs. Let's go ahead and do the SSH using the command SSH root and the IP name. So here we have to supply the password and now you can see you are on the root folder of a Kali machine. Now you can do all of your pen test activity. Thanks for watching the video. Please provide all the feedback on a comment sections.